Hello and welcome back to Star Wars The Old Republic. Back on All Grey once again. I'm sorry it's been a few days since I've done a recording on, uh, on Star Wars. But I will make up for it over the next couple of days. We're doing some on the Warrior now. And probably later on today, when I'm with my friend Nate, we will be on the Sniper and Bounty Hunter again, I think. So hopefully we'll get some new footage there. Right, so where are we up to? We're up to Slaying the Beast and Lost Supplies. Take this supplies to Sergeant Garrus. Yes, can I help you with something? Hold on. Are those the research supplies we were after? I'd given up on them days ago. You've no idea how much I appreciate this. Some of these chemicals take months to manufacture. Not much use to you, but vital to us. Thank you. You're welcome to use some of our equipment as compensation. I'll make sure to mention you to the commander. Very kind of you. That's a lucky loss any good rewards. Uh... Oh yeah. That's the same. <laughs> okay. I need to sell some of this junk. Oh, we'll use that. Let's sell some of this. Them to load bags a little bit. Your money's always good. Bye. Here. Bye. Bye bye. Why have I not sold all this before? Oh, there we go. Come again. Right, let's head back in to see obviously a Tremel. Tremel. Tremel? Tremel. Not quite sure how you pronounce that. Well, look who's here. Mm -hmm. Remember me? You need to move out of my way. I put myself in your way, buddy. On purpose. Notice anything interesting? No witnesses. No witnesses means no rules. No more shortcuts. No more special treatment. You're just going to be another dead failure on Korriban. Oh, bad decision. I did tell you. No, hold up, hold up. Look, I was wrong. What they're saying about you, totally true. So strong i don't want to die no ask for no mercy and expect none die like a sith i failed you vemrin <laughs> <Rawr. laughs> all right let's see what trimmel has got to say we must speak quickly acolyte there isn't much time I may have made a slight miscalculation. The beast of Mark Aragnos was a great source of dark energy here on Corriban. When it was slain, there was a tremor in the force. Darth Barris felt that tremor and has become aware of you. He demands an audience. 
Good. I've been waiting for this for a long time. After meeting him, you may find yourself wishing you had more time to prepare. Barris is a serious man, but a master of deception. Everything he does and says is calculated. He will attempt to trip you up, test your nature, get to the heart of who you are. Always take him seriously. And I mean always. Consider me warned. We might not speak again, Acolyte. You're the best chance of stopping Vemrin. If you fail, I doubt there will be another strong enough. Good luck. Meet Darth Barris in his chambers, and hurry. He won't take kindly to waiting. Yes, sir. Yo, ding seven. Nice one. Uh, yep, better than what I'm wearing. I'll have those on. Speak to Darth Barris. Come here, child. Do you intend to explore the Academy? To know the world that gave birth to the Sith? You should linger here a while. I am Overseer Raggate, a keeper of the old ways. I sense you have potential, and I can help you if you like. Some elaboration is required. You have power and strength in the Force, but you must be tested beyond the trials your masters have set for you. I administer the rite of blood and bone, a ritual performed beyond this doorway. It is a rite acolytes have participated in for 10,000 years. Blood and bone, huh? Sounds right up my alley. It pleases you? Then I too am pleased. In the chambers, past the gateway, there is a colony of Shyrax, my leather-winged, razor-talent children and their brood. They guard a mountain of skulls. An altar to the Academy's failures. You must reach the bones before proceeding. And once I reach the bones? You must claim a skull from the mountain and return to the antechamber. Soak the skull in the blood pool and come to me. Once bone has turned red, I will look and see your nature written in crimson stains. And possibly a glimpse of your future. I'll admit that does sound intriguing. To complete the right is to accept one's death, to steal one's own mortality and drown it in the fluid of life. That is the symbolic purpose. But it is also a trial of power, as are all Sith trials, a trial to test strength and to grant it. I will await you here. If you die, I will forget you. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> right, well, I'm not going in there yet because I do remember something about this. And I'm going to get my pet before I go in there and do this quest. So we'll move on to speak to Darth Barris. That's going to be upstairs by the look. I need to check skills as well while I'm up there. Whoops. Let's check the skill man first. Are strong. Oh, look at all this. But you could be strong. Upgrade. New one. New one. Upgrade. Upgrade. Thank you very much. We'll see so you no mercy. Hmm. So cool down twelve seconds. Retaliation. Uh, I should do that. Right. Need to go across the way by the look a bit. There, 
Tino. I believe that's the one. Really? All right. Hey, you! Careful, Tino. Come on, I'm antsy for some action. You there! Are you the big shot they're all talking about? The one who's been personally summoned by Darth Barris himself? News sure does travel fast. Please pardon my over-eager friend. It's just that we've heard so much about you. And we want to get in good with you. Tino? What my blunt partner here means is that if you need anything or anyone, say, dealt with, we'd like you to consider us. She's talking about Vemrin. We'll kill him for you. <laughs> Sorry. I should have had Tino muzzled. <laughs> so, what do you say? We know Vemrin tried to have you killed. Would you like him eliminated? I'm preserving the pleasure for myself. Far be it for us to rob you of such an experience, but consider this. There are rules. Acolytes are not to openly kill one another. Everyone knows of your rivalry. If you kill him, the Lords will presume your guilt. But if Vemrin croaks while you get an alibi, people might be suspicious, but they won't be able to pin it on you. See? Gotta go with the dark side. I wouldn't be upset if Vemrin turns up dead. Say no more. Go about your business. We'll handle this with utter discretion. <laughs> I don't like that very this much. Mean, fine. It means Vemrin is a dead man. And we're going to have the most potent of allies. Most of you will not return from this endeavor. If you die, you will be forgotten. If you give up, you will be killed. No, out of my sight. I've got a bad feeling about this. You should. This is the end of the line for you, Clemrel. Just make sure you stay out of my way. Look here, Vemrin. I see the upstart, but no sign of Dolgus. Clemrel, Vemrin, you have been dismissed. Yes, Master. I underestimated you by sending Dolgus. It will not happen again. <laughs> Are you having trouble with Acolyte Vemrin, supplicant? If he insists on getting in my face like that, he's going to have trouble with me. He has been hardened into a lethal machine. Vemrin has paid his dues. He's fought a deck stacked against him to get here. You, on the other hand. Let me get a closer look at you. Yes, as I suspected. Overseer Tremel has done you and this academy a great disservice. Your war blade came early. Prisoners flown in for your convenience. Even a beast here on Korriban instead of off-world in the wild. The pacing of the trials is deliberate. Only full immersion over time produces results. Your mind is soft. Unhone, undisciplined. I'll remember that, and someday you'll regret those words. I wouldn't regret destroying you where you stand. The first month of trials should be dedicated to philosophy, conceptual tactics, understanding of the Sith Code. Recite the Sith Code for me, Acolyte, and explain its meaning in battle, war, and politics. The only code I need to know is kill or be killed. Your ability is undeniable, but your readiness and your understanding of the Sith way is woefully lacking. I am your master now. Tremel was becoming lax before you ever arrived. His unwillingness to adapt to the evolving Sith paradigm has become a liability. These are the actions of a traitor. Traitors are executed. I grant you immunity from punishment. Kill Tremel and bring back his hand as proof. It will be my extreme pleasure. Now, leave. I'm sure Tremel is still in his chambers. Don't return until you've killed him. Mm. The plot thickens. Ouch. Oh, another quest. Hello.
So, yet another acolyte stands in the shadow of our academy. You must consider yourself privileged. Tell me, you who would be Sith, have you seen much of our civilization so far? Have you been awed by this world's power and glory? Indeed I have. Korriban is most inspiring, my lord. You find it so? Then you should understand something. Korriban was wrought by the true-blooded Sith millennia ago. Our ancestors, a crimson race of conquerors, raised the statues around us. Over the eons, however, our people mingled with slaves. Now the red markings of true Sith are rare, and the purity of this planet is in question. And what about me? Are you doubting my purity? No, you are young. It is your masters who concern me. True purity and strength are carried in the blood. I worry that our blood is being diluted over generations. In the Emperor's name, I have come to learn whether the Academy's overseers are Sith or not. You will be my instrument. I would be more than proud to help. It is a glorious opportunity. I possess an ancient device, a holocron, that can read and record bloodlines. It will pulse with life near the Overseers. Allow the holocron to fulfill its purpose. Stand near the Overseers as it attunes to their blood purity. Then return here, and I will learn the truth. Okay, okay. Go and do tremble first, shall we? I didn't expect to see you again so soon. Has Barris sent you back to me? I'm here to kill you. Then I have been outplayed. Paris has the authority, but I did not think he would do something this overt. Either I die, or he forces me to kill you, and to destroy my own plan. A master stroke. Very well, you have your orders, Acolyte. Know that it gives me no pleasure to kill you. What makes you so sure you're going to kill me? You're strong, Acolyte, as strong as any I've seen come through the Academy. But you're not Sith yet. I'll try to make your end quick and painless. <laughs> it's the least I can do. Need to wait for that 30 seconds. I think I'm going to need that again. I don't remember him being hard last time I played this. Alright, well, fingers crossed, guys. One second, here we go. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 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 
your equipment to get hit on this. Uh, oh, we're level six. Hmm. Don't remember this being that hard before. So close to beating him. Fingers crossed, guys. it was that time. Ridiculous. No. I'm amazed. I knew you were strong in the force, but not like this. You're more than ready to challenge Vemrin. Barris won't be able to deny that now. He'll have the satisfaction of my death. But I die knowing my success. Go ahead. End this. You fought bravely, Overseer. Die with your head held high. Farewell, Acolyte. The purity of the Sith lies with you. Hmm, okay. Return to Darth Barras. do that, let's head outside and scan this person that's out there. I think there's somebody out there that we need to scan. And then we can come back. Maybe we can play that other quest inside. Right, yeah, there's one here on the corner. Uh, 
But don't forget guys, I will say, if you do like the video, please leave a like. And subscribe if you like as well. It would be very nice. I've gone past it. No. Isn't there another holocron down this area? I seem to recall there was. Let's scan this dude then I'm gonna have a look. Where is he? Ah, oh, there he is. Blind as a bat I am. Yes, there was, I was right. There we go. <laughs> Two endurance, very nice. Maybe I should have uh, got that before I fought Tremel. Okay, the next one's back inside, yeah. So we'll, we'll keep that between us, shall we, guys? Uh, I, died, I died twice to Dremel. <laughs> oh dear. Nick the noob. Those miles up, not yet. <laughs> Looks like they're both upstairs. I can speak to Barris while I'm up here. And then uh, go downstairs and turn in the other one. That sounds like a good idea. I'm turning these quests and I think we'll probably call it a day for today. Alright Barris, I've done what you ordered. What's this? The Aconite returns, and with a blooded weapon. I assume this means Tremel is no more. Give me his hand. Here, take this one ring as a memento. Remembering the past can strengthen resolve and embolden the spirit. I am impressed you had the fortitude to destroy him. You know he thought of you as family. How did it feel to betray him? I did what was called for. You mask your feelings well, as long as you don't suppress them. You have taken your first step to understanding the Sith Code. Peace is a lie. There is only passion. Through passion, we gain strength. 
Through strength, we gain power. Through power, we gain victory. And through victory, our chains are broken. The Force shall set us free. By embracing the cold and destroying Tremel, you have freed yourself from his shackles and escaped his fate. You've made your point. I understand. That's more like it. I had a feeling you'd be a fast learner. Now, there are sacred ruins in the tomb of Tulak Horde. The ancient inscriptions that once adorned the walls of each ruin lie in pieces. You will venture through the entire tomb, search all of the ruins, and bring me a shard from each of these inscriptions. You will do this, or you will die. Vemran and my other acolytes have already been sent. There are no rules regarding how they secure the shards, and they will stop at nothing. Fight your way through the tomb of Tulak Horde in the Valley of the Dark Lords, and bring me the shards from each of the ruined shrines. Okie dokie, we'll do that. He's not mad as a hatter, is he? Nah, not really. <laughs> Can I wear that ring? I'll give to your companion. Okay. Move that to there. Move that to there. I need to be sold. Right. Woohoo! Step forward. I assume you've completed my task. I will take the holocron now. It is time we judge the purity of your overseer's blood. Time we know how much of the ancients survive in their veins. What does it matter? The ancient Sith are dead. It matters because the ancient Sith are the source of our power. They are everything we are. The holocron, it glows white. So little Sith blood in all of the academy. And only one of the overseers wears the red marks. This is shameful. I will bring this to the attention of the Dark Council. Measures must be taken if the true Sith are to survive. What exactly is your plan? I'll advise purges and enslavement of those with the thinnest blood. And uplift the pure. It will be the Dark Council's decision, however. You have served well. It is too late for me to alter your training. But in the future, perhaps acolytes will kneel at the feet of the pure-blooded. Okay, cuffs, we'll have some of that. There we go. Right, guys, I think that will be enough for today. I thank you very much. This is all great. Signing off.